Buckle up, YouTube. Darth here. Now, I promised myself I'd try to shy away from weapon reviews, but I feel I have to make some kind of public service announcement about the RPK-74. It's bad. Er, no, not that kind of bad. How bad is the RPK-74? This gun probably led me to my worst streak of games in over a year. I repeatedly lost engagements at every range, and it was exceptionally hard to get kills that any other gun could have achieved. But let's actually look at the stats for this gun. What drew me in at first was the accuracy of this gun. It has the least amount of vertical recoil of all the LMG weapons. I had also never played with the weapon before, so I wanted to try it out. The vertical recoil is definitely a strength, and maybe the only strength of the RPK-74. It is an extremely easy gun to control, especially with the attachments. This is particularly true because of the slow firing RPM. If you're looking for a mid-range weapon that doesn't travel upwards a lot, this gun is for you. But in every other respect, this gun is just terrible. There are four mediocre stats on this gun that in combination make this possibly the worst LMG in the game. This weapon is one of the slowest firing LMGs in the game. This translates to great control of the vertical recoil, but in trade you give up a lot of damage per second. To put this into perspective, both the PKP and M240B fire as fast or faster than this weapon, and they do about 35% more damage per shot. The LSAT, which has similar accuracy at mid-range, does more damage at 700 rounds per minute. Ultimately, this means that if your target sees you at close range, you're probably going to lose. And you're certainly dead if they have a close quarters weapon. In fact, I found that if my target was aware of me at any range, it was more dangerous than any other weapon I've used in this game. At 46 rounds, the RPK-74 is tied for the smallest ammo load of any of the LMG weapons. In my mind, this means that the weapon is designed for a more assault-type support player. That is, you are closer in, you do your damage, you reload, and you continue assaulting a point or position. The size of the magazine isn't useful for putting down a bipod and laying down fire, as you're going to be reloading very frequently. Now, Simthick.com didn't have any data available for the RPK-74, so I had to do some testing of my own using video recording and frame counting. In my findings, the RPK-74 has a bullet in the chamber reload time of approximately 3.55 seconds. I also found that the empty reload time is identical, so they're both 3.55 seconds. This should tell you that it's not a good idea to reload this weapon frequently, which is something you're going to be doing since it has a smaller magazine. Again, think about two of its counterparts, the RPK-12, which has almost 50% more bullets and more than a second less reload time, and the U-100, which has the same ammo and 700 milliseconds less reload time when chambered. It means that you've got a gun that has a worse reload time than two other similar LMGs and almost every other automatic weapon in the game. The biggest problem with this weapon is that while it's easy to control the vertical recoil, the bullets you send downrange are going to go everywhere. At close range, this problem isn't apparent, but as you get out to mid-range and especially long range, this weapon becomes anybody's guess as to where the bullets are landing. Even standing perfectly still, I found that the deviation beyond 50 meters was uncontrollable. In some cases, I had to resort to single-shot firing mode in order to land a bullet with any certainty. So where does this come from? The gun has wild left-right deviation, as you can see from this screenshot. It gets even crazier the further you get from your target. So what does this all add up to? Well, let's see. We've got poor rounds per minute. Ding! A minimal number of rounds in the magazine. Ding! A mediocre reload time. Ding! And bullet deviation that makes Ian McKellen look straight. Zing! But in all seriousness, this gun is dreadful. I kept thinking that, oh, maybe if I change style and back off from targets and try to play further away, they would get better. Not really. I really tried giving this gun a chance over the last few days. You can mitigate the dreadful bullet deviation with a bipod, but that's true of any weapon, and this LMG is not made for stakeouts. But the best I was able to do with this weapon was to attach a compensator, a 3.4x scope, and avoid direct confrontation with any enemy. Trying to grind this weapon was easily the worst time I've had in Battlefield, and the most frustrated I've ever felt about a weapon. There are so many other choices for support that are so much better in so many ways that this gun just doesn't fit anywhere right now. So do yourself a favor. If you unlock this one, you might just want to skip it. If you think I'm crazy and you love the RPK-74, I'd love to hear why in the comments below, and maybe what worked for you. Thanks for watching, YouTube, and if you found this video helpful or insightful, please give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos about Battlefield 4 insights, tips, and tricks, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.